Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to Project Serial update number 2. In the last video I showed you how to create these displays and uh, I also showed you a little bit from the side over there this entire thing. This is going to be the display for the word processor. It is 8x3 in um, 8x3 with a total of 24 displays and uh, it is pretty much done. I have the shift register down here hooked up to each and every single one of the displays. This took a while, I can tell you. And uh, we have the receivers over here with the serial. The, uh, the digital serial. This is another type of serial that uh, that I didn't use in the keyboard. If you want to see how to uh, if you want to see how to build this, I mean there are the tutorials on how to show you uh, showing you this because this is a pretty simple method. But uh, considering this is this entire thing is kind of kind of new. It's a little newer-ish construction because um, because I, it had to be uh, 35 bits that had to be sent through. It's not usually 35 bits, which it's just uh, it's it's um, it's more than usual, so to speak. And it has to be uh, forming, of course, the characters as they uh, as they show up. If you want to um, see how to do that, you can leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to give an explanation of that. The piston here, piston there, piston there, all of these go to the shift registers. The first eight here goes to the first one, next eight go to the next one, which means that we have three pistons for each and every single row. And that means that when uh, one of these displays are enabled, the shift register which stores it, it's gonna allow this one to uh, retract and it's gonna when the signal comes out from the computer from the ROM and the character comes through it's only gonna come to this receiver it's not gonna go to this one or this one and that is to uh, just reduce lag and stuff like that we are on a server so any lag is gonna be annoying more annoying than usual if it was a single player world I would probably wouldn't do it or actually I probably would do it but um, it wouldn't be a problem if I didn't do it I'm not sure if if it will be a problem here, but uh, I just do it. So, uh, th so there's that. This one, I'm not sure if I explained it. This is the uh, the encoder from the keyboard, or for the keyboard. The keyboard, of course, every single character here is uh, coded into a binary number. The binary number is sent through, and it goes out here. But then, of course, to um, I need to translate it back to uh, to just normal decimal. So that's this one's supposed to do and then it's gonna go to the ROM storing all the characters themselves here which is gonna be sent through the other serial the digital serial going to the display and that's basically how it's gonna work a funny thing is if you remember this is analog serial going in here and this is digital going to the display and the analog is going to the PS2 port it's supposed to look like a PS2 port at least and that is in real life an analog port and this one is supposed to look like an HDMI port which is of course a digital port so the analog goes to the analog digital goes to the digital uh, just a funny thing that I built so um, yeah there's nothing more to that really I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more Redstone related videos like this, including uh, tutorials and showcases, be sure to subscribe. Bye!